I read somewhere that you said you put a lot of yourself in your characters. I used to work with the director before on how I feel about a character and what I think about I should do in different scenes. Uh, I, I have a very strong uh, 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 impression of my own for the character. But after I work with Kawai, I seem to I lose that kind of uh, <laughs> energy. <laughs> I don't know why, because after I work with him, I, I, I feel that I have nothing to work on. And I was very relaxed. After working with him, it, he makes me become more lazy. All these directors, they always see you as someone very fragile kind of character, kind of guy. Maybe because they know quite well about me. They know how I brought up, they know my background. And I think that's my impression for them. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, they, they think that I'm... They know me quite well. In your background, what kind of uh, experience did you have or something that would be known by these directors would make them feel that way? The way I brought up, um, how I turned from a naughty boy to a, an open mind naughty boy to a very restrained a kid, very suppressed and very good at hiding mm -hmm. his own emotions. And they know, uh, I told them that, um, um, very shy, um, very insecure, lack of confidence. Do you talk about this with the directors? Yes. yes. I used to, I think I used to tell them everything. I think, I think they need to know me quite well before they work with me, so they can use the best out of me. At least, they, they, they need to know how I think. Um, how I feel about some certain things. And this ability to change very fast mm -hmm. of uh, expression in, on your face, is, is it something you worked on? I, I don't know how I can do that. I, I didn't practice and I just leave my, my emotions just express out uh, automatically. Just, just let the feeling go. I never try to force it because you cannot force it. Um, you just need to be in that character and you will have that feeling and it will come out automatically. Some of your best performances with John Wu, again in Hard Boiled and in uh, Bullet in the Head. Uh -huh. Would you like to work again with him? Of course, of course. I would really love to work with him again, but, but he's too busy now. <laughs> so I think John might change a lot. I haven't seen him for uh, years. And in this period of time, I think he, he will change. And I have changed too. I've become more mature. And, and he moved to the States for quite a long time. He had different experience there. And he might change too. So it won't be the same. What do you think of his career so far in the States? I think he's doing very good, yeah. and, and that was good for him. And, and I, I really like to, 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 to know how he is now. <laughs> what if he asks you to, to, uh, to act in one of his American films, in his Hollywood film? Why not? I know that John Woo is a very gentle kind of man. Yes. And very shy, almost like you. Do you, yes. do you feel you have connections with him? That gives you the ability to, to give him more? To... Yes, yes, that makes me feel very comfortable when working with him. And mm -hmm. we both talk in a very low voice. <laughs> Not very well in communicating with people. So that, that makes us you know, quite friendly when working with him. He is very nice and yeah, makes you very comfortable. At first, in Hard Boiled, you were supposed to play a, a very bad guy, a very big criminal. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? No. And after they changed the, the, the screenplay for you to be a, an undercover cop. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. What kind of memories do you have of this film? Is it a good one or was it complete chaos? <laughs> it's the most horrible action movies I ever worked with. Really? Yeah, the explosion is really 
it's really horrible. You know, they set up for for a whole day for one scene, and 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 you don't know where where is all the explosion is. It's just bam 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 bam, and but it's memorable. What about Cho? Do you, do you follow his uh, career in the States? Oh, I saw some of his, I saw all his mov mov movies. And do you think it's easy for him? What, what do you think when you see I think him he, trying so hard to uh, yeah. be accepted by the American audience? I th yeah, I think he, he can do more other kinds of roles, um, but it's hard to say. <laughs> Did you have a good relationship on, on, on Hard Boy? Because uh, you are very close in the movie, you are. Yes, but we seldom meet when we are not doing movies because I think he don't want to get along with with the movie people. Movie people, yeah. if he don't want to work. Um, yeah, same to me too. So we seldom meet each other. Are there any actors you've worked with once or several times that give you energy that you like to work with and uh, who bring you a lot? Um, I think Maggie is the only one that I really want to work with again. She can really, you know, drives, drives me <laughs> crazy sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she's, I think she's too aggressive, very energetic. Working with her makes me Sometimes quite exhausting, but uh, it's good to work with her. It makes me more energy. Again, I'm coming back to Hardboiled, uh, where you were uh, smoking a lot of cigarettes. Is it something you bring to the characters? Actually, I, I, I hate smoking in <laughs> making movies. <laughs> and, and they ask me to it. And they think that I should smoke. I create some kind of atmosphere when I was smoking. I've seen you, I think, once only in this movie called The Longest Night, mm -hmm. you were playing a real bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yes, very much. But I still think I can do better. And I still want to do some, some bad guy, of which I actually, I, I try to do it in, in The Mood for Love. But Kawai always said, don't make it too obvious. Uh, don't make people hate you. I said, but that's human. We will have our evil side, I think. And, and you can say that it's a bad guy, but I think people have both sides. I actually, I, I, we tried different, different possibility of the, of the character and different side. Both, uh, at first, we tried to play a decent and a nice guy, a, a, a pity man who who, find, who found out that his wife has an affair. But uh, in the middle, I, 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 I said, why, why can't we make the, the character more complicated? And, and make it, why not we can play that bad guy with a purpose for doing, for doing all the things. And, and yeah, and you know, we tried different things in between. I don't think I'll get out clean every time when I finish a movie. I, I think I'll grow up every time after I finish a movie because I really go through some kind of experience in life. Although those things are fake, but you know when you're doing the movie, you try to push yourself to believe that everything is true so you can have your true emotions. So I, I really live through that process as a real human being and a, 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 I, I treat it as real life. So every time when I finish the movie, I think I, I grow up bit by bit, little by little. 
On the other hand, and I will feel very upset too, because I think being is a kind of torturing yourself making movies. When you are making that movie, you push yourself very hard to believe that everything is true, and although everything is fake. And after you finish that movie, and you have to tell yourself that everything is fake. So just wake up. <laughs> the dream is over. I think, wow, that's it's kind of torturing, but still enjoy this kind of torturing.